Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are here with Bray Marine to have a look at the Bolt Yacht Sun Camper 35. And I'm just going to walk up the side of it because this is slightly different than anything I've seen before, and it really does take volume to the next level. It's not a massive boat, but you wait till you see the space on board. Really nice cutaway side deck, so it's easy access, as you can see. Step through straight here through the side door into the helm and a lovely little foredeck area as well. Now this boat, as you see it, is on the water for under, I think, 130,000 pounds. I need to double check that actually, having said that. Yeah, 129,947 pounds. So it's outboard powered. It's a tri hull so it's got three little hulls on it. Really nice step on board bathing platform. You can access that from both sides. As you would expect, a little sea door and then a nice array of seating all the way around. You can pop out this cushion here so you can gain access to the side deck. Likewise, you can do and pop your way through there. Just going to pop my bag off here. I'll we'll take a step back in here. You can see there's storage all the way under all of those seats. That table then drops down and sits on those rests and gives you an extra bit of sunbathing space out there. You can also see full extended aft hard top with zipping sections. So you can zip in the section all the way around here. So if the weather's not quite so nice, you're okay. Get my shoes off. Nice big sliding door here, but also side window here for extra ventilation. So let's take a step on board. I'm going to have a forward action have a look back. So quite logically, you can see here, galley on the starboard side, twin burner, hob, looks like a gimbal hob actually as well, with a gas cooker, sink, side, big side windows with nice side ventilation that opens. That takes us forward to the helm station. And you can now see that side door we looked at from the pontoon, and very much little ship's feel to it. You can stand in here, got access to the throttles, all the engine controls, nice bow thruster, and a decent view forwards. I just turn around and take a look back here. You can now see a lovely dinette area. And there's a couple of bulkheads here. So this is the first time I've been on board. So I'm guessing that that is, there you go, the heads. Look at that side. Window. Imagine being in the heads here, using the loo, should we say, with a view out of that window. Conventional heads, and as you would normally see these days, uh, mix a tap that doubles as a shower head. And then in here, we have a cabin. So again, loads and loads of light, plenty of ventilation to that window, lots of headroom, great view aft, giving you tons of light, flood in here. Step down in here, and it gives you a little quarter berth going off over there. So it is a double. The nice thing is your heads will be up this side. So you've got sitting headroom quite easily and standing headroom as you come into the doorway here but fantastic use of glass. Bit of storage under here. And again, pretty standard these days. So this seat here, cantilevers forwards, like so, to give you like that. And then gives you a seat forward so you've got somebody to sit with the skipper when you're going along. Let's have a quick look down below. And this is a forward berth. So again, nice big berth, really using the full beam of the boat. Little seat down there, storage cupboard over here. And then forward heads in here. Not quite standing headroom, but very close. Little loo, nice mirror, window, sink, usual sort of stuff. Nice woodwork actually, but really nice, spacey, really spacious. Little window there for a bit of forward light, and then here's the four hatch that we looked at on the, in the fore deck. And then there is another berth, believe it or not, down here. I would say that's a cozy double or a single. So you've obviously got the aft cabin at the back, you've got the under berth cabin here, you've got another berth here. 
and potentially you've got a double berth here. So you can get a lot of people on this boat. Oh, I've just noticed that the fridge over there. So let's have a quick nip out the side door. So if you're coming alongside, you can just see how so easy this is. Off the helm station, through the gate, onto the pontoon, and you've got your midships click there, ready to tie yourself off. Little seat forwards here. A forward gate as well there. And then under here, massive, I would imagine, there you go, yeah. Massive storage locker for ropes, lines, fenders, that sort of thing. And there's that little window we looked at in the fore cabin. So there you go. Let's go and have a look at the flyby. I suspect similar asymmetric decks open on this side. So you can see how this is sort of designed for river use. Although, you know, if you're keeping your boat in Pool Harbour, very capable. So I'm going to nip back in here through the dinette and we'll go and have a look at the flybridge. Bear with me while I hold on as I climb up in my socks. And I wouldn't suggest anybody walks around a boat in socks. So again, look at that. Massive, great big sun cushion. Little helm station here. Very simple but very effective. Nice big spotlight. Now you can see the bow forward. And there you go. Lots and lots of leisure space with another array of solar panels on the back. So let's sit in the helm station, see our view forward, and go, thank you for watching. Thank you for the guys at Brain Marine. Please like, please subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time round.